Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 64-year-old female who complains of left eye pain and redness. She's had some prior surgeries. One is a left-sided corneal transplant. She's had two corneal transplants. The first one, she says, didn't take, and they had to do a second one, and that did well for a while, but lately the eye has become irritated, and vision has uh, gone down. And she also has some other findings here. So this is the right eye, left eye, and we see this little dark band around this. This is a scleral buckle, a little silicone band that goes around the eye and it narrows it in the transverse dimension. And they put this on for treatment of retinal detachments. So this eye, she said, is doing fine. It has had a retinal detachment and that band was placed for that, the scleral buckle. The lens in the front here is gone, so she's had cataract surgery. Now on the left side, she said she used to have a scleral buckle, but they removed that. We can see the asymmetry where there's a little band around the waist of this eye, and this eye that has been removed. So the left eye, she said, also had retinal detachment, but the retinal detachment um, got complicated by injury of the cornea, so they had to do the corneal transplant, and then the second corneal transplant, poor thing. And we also noticed that there's something unusual in the eye, this dark area here, this is a T1 weighted view, uniform, signal intensity, very low signal intensity um, process. Here we have a flare sequence that's hyper intense on the flare. This is a T2 weighted sequence that's hypo intense on this. And this is silicone oil that's been injected into the eye by the ocular surgeon. And when they inject the oil like this, it puts pressure um, on the inside of the eye like a tamponade and it pushes the retina outwards and it helps to heal retinal detachment. So the retina is along the inner margin of the globe here inside the sclera, and sometimes that can peel away, can detach, and they need to do something to keep that back um, on tacked against the wall so it can heal. So they can put a scleral band, like on this side, the band goes around and that will hold the retina in place better. And they can also do this, where they put the intraocular silicone oil, and again, that will cause an internal tamponade and push the retina outwards and have it adhere to the um, outside and heal. And so all this looks pretty good, but she does have that irritation of the left eye, some redness, a little bit of pain. And so I have an arrow back here, and the arrow is pointing to the sclera, and it is hyper intense on this sequence. So a little bit of thickening and hyper intensity. So this looks like it is scleritis or inflammation of that sclera. And that is what the physician thought clinically she had. In the front, the anterior margin here is a little irregular. And we chalked it up to the retinal, um, I'm sorry, the corneal uh, transplants. So in the end, it looks like she has no new retinal detachment. There's no fluid dissecting underneath the rim here. All we have is this big glob of silicone oil. And we have the mildly hyperintense signal around the rim, which we believe is scleritis. But the rest of the uh, uh, globe uh, looks within normal limits. And we see the optic nerve coming off the back here, normal in signal. A little bit of edema along the outer margin here, some lo localized inflammation, or maybe even fluid from tearing back here. Uh, but that's it. So a complicated case here of uh, left silicone oil that's been injected to treat a retinal detachment. And thank you very much.